Alright everybody, welcome to another episode of Feed the Beast. Been a few weeks since I done one. Um check my volume here. Um but yeah, we're back on track and I should have a pretty regular recording schedule now. Every couple days I'll have Feed the Beast out. Um got a bit of a cold today if you can hear it. But it's not stopping me. So what we're gonna do today. So we're going to make something called the Recycler. This guy here. Uh, pretty easy to make. A compressor and some refined iron and glowstone. And what that does is it allows you to take certain materials like cobble um, and it turns it into a scrap. And what you do with scrap Let's take a look at scrap here. It's got a 1 in 8 chance to produce scrap. So from it, like a stack of cobble you should get 8 scrap. So then with the scrap you can uh, you can make it into a scrap box actually. But that's not what we're looking to do with it. Uh, 9 of them makes a scrap box and then the scrap box I think you probably right click it or something I'm not sure it gives you a random item maybe we'll make a couple just for fun but uh, what we really want to do with it is use it in a mass fabricator to make UU matter I believe um, and the uh, fabricator I think, yeah, this is with the matter fabricator. You can see it's max EU in is 8192, um, and the stuff it takes to make it pretty damn crazy. <laughs> but that's far down the road. We're just going to set up this recycler just so we can start processing all of this cobble here. As you can see, we've got three and a half, almost three and a half full expanded barrels, plus I think we could probably use this cracked sand to make scrap, which uh, is probably the only use we have for it. I think you can also turn it into sand if you hydrate it with water, but uh, I think we've got a lot of sand too. Yeah, we've got almost a stack of stacks. So that'll do. So today we're just going to make the recycler and we'll power it up. Um, we're going to stick it right in here, I think probably put it right here. So what we need to do is we need to run some power to it. And I'm thinking we'll just use this and this runs directly across I think here. I hope it goes right across. Yes, awesome. So we're just gonna tap off that which should run from underneath here. So that's got a transformer. Why does that have a transformer if it's already being transformed, right? Am I right? It's coming from there at 128, because this outputs at 512. And then that's putting it down to 128. And then this is taking it in at 128. But the industrial grinder can take 128, can it? Uh, yeah, so this is not necessary, and we will actually need that later. Let's check this guy out too. Has he got a transformer? Yeah. Um, that's odd. That's maybe how I had it before when it was coming directly out of the MFSU. Maybe. Yeah, that's probably it. So we're going to steal one of these transformers, because we'll need it. We also need to make some glass fiber cable. Um, the best way... I use electrium, because you get eight, and electrium is just gold and silver. And I think we've got lots of gold and silver. Or maybe we already have electrium smelted here. Yeah, we do. We're gonna make three sets of it. Oops. Three. We could sure use some diamonds, I guess. 
Oh well. Is there glass in there? Yes, we need 18. One, two, three. There we go. Alrighty, let's make some fiber cable quick. One, two, three, and like that. Diamonds. Boom. 24. Perfect. Should keep us going for a while now. Um, let's stick it. How could we do this? Um, let's power it from below. We'll put it right here. We'll put the cable going like this. Right there. Here. So, not a potato. Not a potato. Doesn't. Potato does not conduct electricity. Go up like that. And we'll put some uh, micro blocks covering this. Um, I gotta get a wrench for those transformers, that music. Game. I like this new menu here with the, uh, some of the newer upgrades. Looks nice. Ah, uh, zombie somewhere. I need a wrench, wrench, wrench. There it is. Now, I'm... I'm just... I'm kind of thinking about this still. I think this should be good. Let's just empty this out in case it does explode. But it shouldn't. It's coming out at 128 from there. And then this is a 128 transformer. So if we remove that... Give it one of those. Give it one of those. Now let's power it up. There should be no problem here. Right. So that is good. And this is the industrial blast furnace. Let's just make sure that that takes 128 as well. It does. Cool. So then we can save these transformers. Because we'll need to use one of them later. I'll show you with what. Cover this back in. Alright, now let's build this bad boy. Ooh, that was really good alliteration. Um, it's actually really cheap to make. Which is kind of surprising, but I guess the second part of it, the matter fabricator, is not cheap at all. So we'll need a compressor, which is six stone, a machine block, and a circuit. I probably have all those things. Any circuits bopping around? No. No circuits. Uh, what about this guy? No. No circuits. Alright, so that's zero for zero. No circuits in there. Crap. Looks like we gotta build some ourselves. So let's also use... If you use Electrium, you get two circuits uh, per thing. We just need one. Yeah, we just need one. So that saves on your copper for wiring. We also need two of these guys and eight for the machine block. And one for... What do I need two for? Why don't I take two? I just need eight. Blech. Two here. Right. Eight for the machine block, one for the circuit. Yeah, one more. There we go. All right. Uh, there's copper wire in here. There we go. That won't do it. We'll take some rubber. Um, we got copper wire. Yes, one uninsulated. Exactly what we need. Alrighty. And two electriums here, and that'll give you two circuits. No, it won't, because this is silver. <laughs> that is silver, not refined iron. Alright, where is there? There you go. Oh boy. Eleven of those guys. Let's try that again. Two circuits out of that. 
All right, and good. We've got the stone. Like that we'll make the machine block. Uh, I wish this was in 1.5. There's that click and drag just to make that make this so much faster. Soon enough, there is our compressor and then dirt and two of these and a glowstone on top. Kind of strange to have a glowstone. Can't imagine how that applies to the machine itself. Let's get rid of some of these dusts. Um, good enough. Let's fill up these guys with water. All right. And the glowstone is the recycler. Cool. So, this guy only takes... Oh, it doesn't say, but he only takes 32 EU, so you can't just plop him on here. So what we're going to do is we're going to break this wire. For now, we're going to pop it there. And so we don't have anything taking power, but in order for it to get one EU, we could put a transformer down right here. But instead, we can make a transformer upgrade. And... Uh this guy. So it's just a transformer with a circuit, two times insulated gold, and some glass. And I think, yeah, that will, yeah, because it allows it to use 128 EU instead of 32 EU, whereas the transformer stuck under here would still only allow it to take 32 EU. So if you allow it to take 128 and you put a bunch of overclockers inside, it will perform much faster than if you just have a transformer stuck stuck underneath. And if you put two transformers, two of the transformer upgrades inside, it keeps adding on. So if you add one, it'll take 128 EU. And if you add two transformer upgrades, it'll take uh, 512. So we could run it directly from the MFSU under there. But these two would explode because they don't have anything and they don't have any upgrade slots. So you'd have to put... Um, transformers back underneath them. So that's how that works. Where's that gold wire? Some right here. Uh, we need glass. Glass, glass, glass. We need five, I think. Like that. Let's just make this cables. One, two, and again. There we go. Like that. Come on. Or do we need five or do we need six? And the circuit. Yes, the circuit. Four, five. And the transformer upgrade. Awesome. So this is kind of useless unless you have overclockers inside. So I think there should be a oh, couple more seconds here. I'll show you what the overclockers look like. If you've never used them, don't cook it. There we go, so that, now, we can put this pipe on. And it will power it up. There we go. So if I take this out right now, um, it shouldn't do anything because it's not charging it with any energy. The internal uh, battery is already full. But if I take this out and then run stuff through it, it'll go boom. Because it can't handle that. Let's see what this looks like here. It's not so bad. Yeah, that works. I'll take it. Um, the reason I'm putting it up here is that there's room to expand, and we can have stuff in these barrels that will allow us to pipe it to the recycler so that we don't have to keep transferring over. Um, or we could do ender chests, maybe. I'm not sure yet. This is just uh, getting it set up immediately. How's this going? A little bit more time yet. I wish there was uh, overclocker upgrades for this, but there's not. Are we sitting full? Ooh, yeah, look at that. 20 million plus 2, 600, 21,200,000 EU stored. That's pretty good. Pretty good. I think there's... Is there something upgraded after an MFSU? I think there is. 
Is there any recipes with that? Just MFSU cart. I think there's something. Uh, it's also an acronym. Can't remember. Let's see, is it... No. And there's other ways of storing energy too with like some of the red power stuff. Come on. So what we're going to make is the overclockers. Let's just look at those recipes. Um, if you use 310k coolant, which is just uh, this is just a water cell with tin around it, you use three of them, you get one overclocker. But if you use only one helium, you get two overclockers. So that's a way better deal. Uh, same thing with uh, potassium, uh, sodium potassium coolant cell. But we'll use helium because it's easiest to get. Just some glowstone and a centrifuge. I think it takes about five minutes or so, and it's done. Do I have no more copper? Let's make some quick, and we also need some more circuits. That means we will need more copper, and that means we need a refined iron. Alright, you gotta be done. Come on. Let's make these um, copper wires. All right, uh, just one set of circuits. <clears throat> there we go, and we will need it right there. Yeah, we can uh, make another set of overclockers after I think one round of 16 glowstone only makes one helium, I think. Let's just take a look at the recipes here. Uh, which one is it? Oh, golden apples. Huh, the super golden apple gets you a stack of gold, which would be 9 blocks times 8 is what it would take to make it, which is 72, so you're getting kind of gypped on that. some crazy stuff. Glowstone. Glowstone, 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 glowstone. Where is it? There it is. So you get one helium cell, eight gold, eight redstone. There we go. So take that helium cell, we'll leave the gold in here. Gold and redstone stay in there, and... Oh, we need four tin. Forgot that. Tin, tin, tin. Sure, I'll unstack it like that. Tin like this. A little diamond around it. And you got the 60k helium coolant cell. Up there you get two overclockers. So now we're going to pop that in this guy. So that'll make him run faster. Uh, I think we can throw ten overclockers in as the max. I'm not sure. Let's stick a stack. Stick a stack of stickled peppers, um, some cobblestone in there. Oh, look how fast that's going. So it's got a 1 in 8 chance. So through this stack, we should get 8 scrap. Hopefully. Let's grab another stack. We'll put a few through, and then we'll make a scrap box. We'll just make, we'll make one and see what we get. Um, I think you can see what the odds are of items that come out of it. What is that? Scrap boxinator. Maybe we need something else in order to open these. Let's see. Come on. Oh, you can use it as fuel, right? 7,000 EU. Okay, so here's... It's got a 63% chance of coming back as one scrap. So that's... That sucks. 3% for a wooden hoe. Oh yeah, and then the odds decrease. As the items get better, the odds decrease. <laughs> you can get regular filled tin can or a rotten filled tin can. That's good. Uh, yeah. Odds are low. What was this one here? Sawdust, 1.21. That's weird. Machine parts. Single-use battery. Let's 
get into some, like you have odds of getting some good stuff like platinum and tungsten and I'm sure iridium is here, but 0.01% chance, that's terrible odds. Oh, we're done. And we did get eight. Lovely. Let's get nine and we'll make a scrap box just for the hell of it. And we'll give it a go. Let's see. Uh huh. Scrap box. Now let's just right click it. <laughs> a stick. Lovely. So it cost me over a stack of cobblestone to get a stick. What fun. And I'm just going to chuck that over there and never pick it up again. Cool. So we could automate this. We could pipe cobblestone in from the top and we can have the uh, scrap coming out the side. Let's try. Let's try. Let's try putting a chest beside and see if the scrap goes in there. That would make it easier not having to use pipes or anything that. Let's do this. Go in there. Go in the chest. No. Alright, so that does not work. Alright. Um, yeah, I think this is probably good enough for this episode. Oh, there we go. Let's wreck the place. Um, I'll work on figuring out some sort of automation for this. It doesn't use a whole bunch of fuel to turn all this cobblestone into scrap and eventually when we get a mass fabricator or a matter fabricator, which one is it now? It is the matter fabricator. And then that gives us UU matter. And what we want UU matter for is not to turn into scrap. Um, oh, I see. So you can turn UU matter, you can turn scrap into UU matter. I don't know what this means. 34, I, don't, I have no idea. Um, you can turn scrap box into UU matter. You can turn other things too, I guess. Redstone and glowstone. I think I'm looking at that right. But what you want to use UU Matter for is um, some of this stuff. Scenarium part. Yes, Scenarium on its own is what we need to make the more advanced solar panels. Uh, yeah. But another thing keeps getting better. We also need a lot of iridium for the more advanced stuff. So how do you get iridium? Uh, which one do we want? I think we want that one. Uh, nope. We want the ingot. Nope. We want that. Nope. Um, what do we want? I'm not finding it. What the hell? Is it the nugget? Is that all it gets you is the nugget? Oh, what? Come on. Something's not right here. Um, you can use UU Matter. You craft it in a crafting table, like a regular crafting table. And depending on what shape you craft it in, it gives you different items. Like, it will also give you emeralds. I know it definitely gives you em emeralds. What the hell? It's something... Something is not right here. Should give all the recipes for UU Matter. Which you'd use a UU Matter assembler for, I think. Well, this is weird. Anyway, I'll have to look into that more. But we got the recycler set up this episode. Thank you guys for watching. And tune in next time. See what we do with this recycling.